Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the very famous lit code problem generate parenthesis and this problem basically covers a very important concept or very basic programming knowledge of recursion along with the backtracking idea. So here in this problem given a n pair of parenthesis and we need to return all these such combination which are formed using this n parenthesis and our well form parenthesis. So let's understand what does it mean by well form parenthesis. So let's say if we have one pair of parenthesis, let's say n equals to 1, then we have only one choice. This is our well form parenthesis. And now if I add like n equals to 2, then we have two set of pair of parenthesis. So we can place like parenthesis side by side. One combination is this. Another combination we can nest these two pair of parenthesis inside each other this is another pair of combination so we can have two such combination why the two parenthesis like pair of parenthesis if n is 3 then we will have more and more combinations so as n increase then there are many combination will be increase in the sum order so for n equals to 3 what we can do we can place all the three side by side then second we can nest first two and keep the third one in the side Another combination we can get like uh, place first as it is and keep second two is in the nested form. Another we can get like one is uh, uh, outside and then two pair side by side inside and nested by the third pair, pair, pair of parenthesis from the boundary. And the last one we can nest all the three inside nested like each other. So these are the five various different combination if there are maybe more but all of them will be collide with one of these five so there are exactly different five pair of bell form parenthesis for n equals to three so how to solve this problem so one of way you can think of using the pair of this bell form like pair of parenthesis and try to place each and every place like first you can take the one parenthesis then start with then we can place either like uh, let me start the just create a little bit tree so you can place over here over here or over here so one is this idea but when we place here in the left side or right side which will generate the same so there is no distinction so there is but when we place inside of this one pair of parenthesis then we will get this combination so this is a different from these two these two are same either placing on the left same approach we will keep trying and keep incrementally going until we reach the n equals to n basically the reach the number given number of parentheses so this idea one idea you can try to code yourself pause the video but we will use another very easy idea which we have used for solving other parentheses related problem so if you see we have n equals to like say n parentheses pair so in that case we will have n open parenthesis and n close parenthesis and every time our open parenthesis are less than or equals to the n as well as close parenthesis is less than or equals to n so what we can do we will have two choices we start from the empty string so empty string like there is nothing then we will try place every time like one is open parenthesis second and the so we have two choice we will place the close parenthesis and we will keep doing it until our open and close reach to the n and n both of them so we will add this over here and this we can add like this here we can have close open and here we can have uh, close and close so now if you see this one is open open so till here that is fine we have uh, if it depends on n equals to number of like how many pair of parentheses as we have so if let's say we have n equals to 2 itself so in this case, so for n equals to 2, n equals to 2 which means we can have two open and two close pair, pair parenthesis, two brackets of this parenthesis. So first, as you can see, this is like here, it's avoided, it is is not bell form as the number of closes is greater than number of open before this itself so here we will not go basically in this branch this branch we will kill immediately so the uh, first base case we will use if the close count if close count is greater than the open count we will break return like that will not generate any forward to us a valid well form solution similarly another case like if i further go into this 
tree nested like open 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 so this is cross like n open close open is greater than the n so this is also not going to give us the proper valid solution so we will break return from here and now what are the condition where we are getting the valid say so in that case if open is equals to n and close count is also equals to n or you can say open plus close equals to n to n so if this is satisfied this means we are we form the parenthesis number of we place the number of parenthesis which are supposed to be placed in a well form way so this is this when we reach this condition we will add into the our result set so we will keep maintain a list for restoring the results so this is the idea you can try to pause the video and try to code yourself so for the coding part let's quickly implement the code so for the first we will create a list of a string and let it call as a result and initialize from the new array list in java in python or c++ you can initialize list uh, or vector accordingly and here first we will call a helper method or recursion so let it me call as a helper method and we initially pass a empty string that is our starting case then we will pass the n as it is now we will initialize our open count as 0 close count as 0 and pass the reference to our result list so once we done with this helper method we just return our result as the final result now we will implement our helper method so this will be a void helper method it will get a initial string as an int n and after that int open count basically and the close counter and in the end we will have list of a string the reference of our result list now we will check the first base case if open greater than n or oh, or close greater than the open any time if our open cross the n number of n or the close crosses the number of open in that case we will return this will not going to give us a well form result and another case if open is equals to n and close equals to n then this is the current string the is a well form pair so we will add into the result dot add into the uh the current as into this and also we will return from here so let's nest it into the curly parenthesis the curly braces and we will return from here in other cases we just call the helper method and append s plus 1 open 1 and then increment the count of open open plus 1 close as it is and in second call second we can play the close one here and is now in this call we just increment the count of close so this is the approach let's try to compile first code if there is no compilation error then we can submit it yeah looks like there is no compilation error and we are getting a result as well correct result now we can submit this solution so it got accepted as this n is very less for because the time complexity of this solution is very big so every time we are choosing so is roughly you can say it's like 2 power 2 n exponential time complexity so for getting to know what is the exact time complexity that is very tricky and it's a mathematical i am not a very big mathematician so i would recommend to basically check out the wikipedia this is a special case of catlin number theory so you can go through this wikipedia and understand how this catlin number works so you can see our problem is mentioned somewhere here like this reinterpreting the symbol x so this is like parenthesis uh, generating the parenthesis is a part of this so you can go through it and now if you like the solution you can hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and if you are new to the channel then must definitely subscribe it